Hey everybody, Mike here. Now in this video I want to show you how we stamp a concrete patio that looks like this. One with curves, one with straight edges, and we make it look like this. So this is going to be the finished product. This is what the video is going to be about. It's about just how to stamp it, make it look like random stone or field stone. But before I get into the video, I just wanted to show you something that saved me a bunch of time, a bunch of money, and really helped my business out a lot. Check this out. Hey guys, so being a concrete contractor, one thing I have to do a lot of is estimates. Now I get requests to do estimates probably a hundred a week, but no matter how many you get, you know you're running a lot. Some of these estimates I do are an hour or two hours away from the house, so that adds up to a lot of time. Now I just found this one thing that's dramatically saving me a lot of time and effort when it comes to estimates, and it's also giving me targeted customers that are ready to go, ready to pay right at this minute. So this is my website right here that people find online by searching. And I have all the different services I do on here, floors, slabs, stamp concrete, staining, all these different things I do. And you can come to my website and check me out. And then if you want a quote, I have this one little tab right down here. It says request an estimate. So people click on that and they go to my estimating uh, page here. Now my old form was this right here where they would fill in their name, their email address and what they wanted me to estimate and then they'd send me an email and I'm getting, I'll get a hundred of those a week. There's no way I can get back to everybody on top of the text messages, on top of the voicemails. There's just no way. So what I found was this piece of software called Crete Quote. Now this is an estimating software that you can embed right on your website and it's a form you put on there that looks just like this. And you can, you can customize this to the services you do. So what I did was I added uh, two of them here that I do a lot of. People request estimates for these all the time. Now, if somebody wants an estimate for stamp concrete, they can click on stamp concrete. They can put in the dimensions. So let's just say they want a 20 by 15 stamp concrete patio. So they just put those two dimensions in there, click submit, and then you can add a bunch of things to it that you want on top of that. So let's just say I put all these patterns in here that we do. They wanted a random stone. And then if there's anything else added on top of that that they might want an estimate for, you can add that in this section, but you don't need to. This is just on top of that. So let's just say there's nothing else they want an estimate for they just want the stamp concrete you skip that step and would you like to add another area is there any more areas you'd like to add meaning do they have other areas of stamp concrete let's just say no now what they do is they put in their email so Mike days concrete floors at gmail their phone number and send me a quote so what that'll do is that will email them a quote instantly based on some things you put in there now if you look at the phone my phone here, you'll see, um, that's gonna pop up on my phone here just in a second. You can see that it just popped up on my phone. Uh, it's on my Gmail, so when we click on that, I click on my Gmail, it says, Creek quote, you just received a quote. So that tells the customer that, bang, here's your quote. They click on the, they click on the quote. They click on the quote. And they, can, and they can scroll down and it gives them a price range based on the settings that you already preset and gives them a price. So Crete Quote is dramatically changing the way I do estimates. It's saving me a bunch of money. And now I only have to focus on the customers who are serious. And that's, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Now you can go to their website here and check it out. I'll have a link for that down in the description. Um, it has demos on here so you can demo it. And then if you want to contact them and get a price on what it costs, you can contact them further. But anyway, that's what I'm using, guys, now. And it's, it's helping me save a bunch of money. But it's also helping me make a lot more money. All right, guys. So back to the video. Now, I know it's important that, you know, when I find something as, as game-changing as Creek Quote that I show you guys. Because I know a lot of you out there are in business for yourself like I am. Or you're thinking of starting your own business. And when you can have something that's going to save you a ton of time, I mean, that's, that's as or more valuable than actually getting money. You can never get back your time. So that's why I had to show you Crete Quote. Um, and again, check it out down in the description. I highly recommend it. 
if I'm using it, guys, then you know it's important because I've always done my estimates on my own for years and years and years. So I've been looking for something like this for a long time. Now what we're doing is we've got the we've got the concrete all prepped. We did that by mag floating the surface. We used the funny float to, to reach the areas that we couldn't reach. And now I'm putting on the release agent. And we use a release powder a lot. We don't use too much of the liquid release. Although you could. I mean that stuff works really good too. I like the powder because it adds a little bit of a secondary color that you press right into the surface of the concrete. Now what I'm doing is I'm using my roller just to get some of my edges in advance. You know, you can go over your edges and get them all textured when the concrete's still pretty soft. And that's just getting a little bit ahead of the ball game. So the more you can get ahead of the game when you're out in the sun like this, the better off you are when it comes to stamping. Now we're using a random stone pattern and the edges on the random stone are all jagged in the the stamps I mean the stamps really only go together one way with these two even though it looks like you could put them anyway so I'm trying to figure out what I think is the best way to start this first one because that's going to determine how all the other ones go and that's what I did I determined I'm gonna start it right there probably you know not for any specific reason reason other than it just looked like it was going to fit a little bit better that way according to those stairs and the way that curve was on the form. Now the other ones, as you can see, where I grip, where I grip the, the stamp, the handles, those are all going to be kind of going the same way. I just, I just can't turn them 45 degrees or 30 degrees and, and have those stamps fit together. They're all going to be going that one way. And we'll just work our way around the curves of the of the patio that way but this is basically how I get started and if you want to know like the the real details of when to start when's the best time to start you know how do you plan this how do you form something like this those are all those, those details are in my training in the concrete underground and they're in the stamp concrete course I have which is in the link down in the description below so you can check that out if you're if you're thinking of adding this service to your business which is this is my most profitable service right here doing stamp concrete so if you're thinking of adding that and you want to learn how to do it uh, the, the quickest and the fastest and the easiest way to learn is by going through that stamp course plus you get access to me for questions too so I'll help you out with anything I can now most of the stamps have uh, about 10 to 11 in a set and that's what we got here so we got a, a full set of these if you're doing a bigger project something a lot larger you might want a couple sets and that way you can go completely across from from right to left with a set of stamps before you have to start picking some other ones up and moving your way forward now Darren's gonna jump on here and help me I got sneakers on that are are flat on the bottom so that's pretty important to wear something that's flat on the bottom. You don't want anything with a heel. And what Darren and Eric are going to put on when they jump on with me is some stamping shoes we have that they can slide their boots right into. Those tools there we use are just our touch-up tools for touching up the joints. And uh, Darren's just going to hand me the rest of the stamps when we get started. Now the concrete's pretty soft still. So we gotta be careful how we walk on it. You can see Darren put those little shoes on that have the flat soles. And this flat. this patio is about, it was about 480 square feet total is what we figured. So just under 500 square feet. You know, right out in the sun, it's probably 75 degrees out today. A Little bit of wind. So we've got a window of about 30 minutes to get from where we're starting right here to finish this up before this concrete sets up on us and gets a little too hard. So we know we gotta, we gotta hustle once we get going. There's no stopping and starting or anything like that. But the key is getting started at the right time and that's the timing on these things is where I can help most of you succeed the most. If you start too early, you're gonna, you're gonna mess it up a little bit. You're gonna have some low spots. And then if you start too late, you know, you're just not gonna get the texture or the grooves in some of these grooves on this pattern here are a half inch deep, so you can't wait too long to get on the concrete.
Hey, so let me know down in the comments, how many of you guys watching this, this video actually do stamp concrete? And if you do, you know, how many estimates, how many estimates a week do you do in your busy season? That would be interesting to know. And how many of you want to learn this? Let me know down in the comments too. If you don't do stamp concrete, but you do other things, concrete floors or, or concrete foundations, do you want to add this to one of your services? Let me know down in the comments also so I can figure out a way to help you guys out the most. The pricing on stamp concrete can be can be pretty high. I mean, this is a highly skilled type of service, so you can charge a lot of money for this stuff, especially if you're pretty good at it and you get your name out there. And that's the key. We could I could literally just do stamp concrete. That's how many people call for estimates. Um, I wouldn't have to do anything else if I wanted to, but we honestly, we don't want to do it every single day. So that's why, and I have a lot of other contractors that have hired me for years that need floors or slabs or other things that we do that I just, I couldn't just drop those services and not service those good regular, regular customers. So we typically do, you know, one, two, maybe three stamp jobs a week during busy season. And then November through usually March, we don't do any stamp concrete at all. It'll just be the all those other services that you saw on my website. So check out the video. Uh, I'm gonna check back in with you in a minute here.
Hey guys, so I hope you liked the video. Make sure you check out Creek Quote in the description below. I'll have a link for that. And if you're not a subscriber yet, make sure you hit subscribe. Hit the like button if you like the video. I do videos on Mondays and Friday each week trying to teach you guys and help you guys learn all about concrete stuff. So let me know down in the comments if you like this kind of stuff, and we'll see you on the next one, guys.